So over the last couple of episodes, we've been interviewing a number of the artists that have been commissioned to produce large scale artworks for Cecil Place. And one of them is Lindy Sales. And today we're standing here in the observatory and her work, uh, Satellite Telescope, has actually been installed permanently in the observatory. There were quite a few proposals that I gave to Cecil. My work is abstract and I'm often looking for a cold objective starting point that I then create something subjective and personal from. Cecil was the perfect institution to illustrate an artwork that would reflect science and technology. So specifically for this piece, I was looking at visual reference of my own cornea. And then that image was then redrawn on my computer and broken up to create the illusion of vision that's been distorted, as well as the construction of satellites and telescopes and how they are put together. The idea is an abstraction of her own cornea is superimposed on the satellite tracks around the Earth. So in a way, she's actually sort of inviting us to look through her eyes out into the world, out into the future, out into space, um, into a new world. My work is very much inspired by this idea of alternate realms, of being able to see the unseen. This idea that the universe is a utopic realm that we can look into and imagine anything. So what we are looking at here is actually around about 300 individual pieces that she cut from Perspex. So there are 360 units um, cut and they have mirror on both sides. 90% of them are silver acrylic Perspex, but then right towards the end, we decided to add in some dichroic perspex, which is the most amazing material to me as it has the whole rainbow spectrum within it. So as you move around it, it changes from orange to pink to purple. And that then reflects back into the silver of the mirror perspex. Each piece is hung individually. That's really when the creative process begins, is me up scaffolding four days, 1,440 knots. And for me, it's a very much a meditative process. And I think for me, the most exciting part of the project was, was being immersed within all these um, mirrored units because you really get this sense of fragmentation as your reflection is reflected in front of you and behind you and faceted all the way through. You get this sense of infinity or non-defined depth. When you come in in the mornings, the artwork actually has a very ethereal, lovely light kind of feel. Um, as soon as the weather starts changing a little bit, it becomes nearly pitch black. And uh, for me, it actually has quite a life of its own. It's a very sensory artwork. So I want people to be able to go into that space and immerse themselves in the reflections, in the shadows, in the light that's emitted, but also to see their own reflections in the, in the artwork, because that's really what it's all about. It's all about us mirrored within ourselves, within other people, within the universe. I'd like people to reflect in the space. At first glance, you think, what am I looking at? And the more that you start engaging with it, the more that you found it really, really very stimulating and challenging. I'm very happy with the finished product. Um, on the last day, the sun came out and the blinds went up and the most amazing um, shadows and reflections shone through. And in, in that moment, I was, I was very happy and um, pleased with the work. Mm -hmm.